Hello. It'd be ten years ago. Ten years ago, I was working in the Clock Tower dungeon. I was actually selling books. It was the Pitimi Art Festival when a strange wee woman came up to me and she said, I've got a story for you. And it's all because of your book, The Ween Witch. So I went, ooh, I'm all ears. What is, what's the problem? And she said, I was down in the 70s with my daughter on the beach at Pit and Ween by the old harbour in the sands and her daughter was playing away building a castle and so it was seven o'clock at night in the summer when she, she suddenly saw this woman appear next to her daughter a woman in rags she said a woman about five foot two she didn't look well and I gestured to her, and she gestured towards my child building a castle, and I just smiled. I looked at my daughter, then I looked back, and the woman was gone. There was no place to see. This is peculiar because, she said, I could see clearly a hundred yards in any direction, and there's no way the woman could have got past her without her seeing. It got a bit more sinister. She suddenly realised that where the woman had been standing in the sand, there was no footprints. There was nothing. There was no footprints in the sand where the woman had been standing, and she had bare feet. She asked her daughter, she said, did you see the strange lady who was sitting there? Her daughter building her castle just looked up and went, yes, she seemed nice. It was only 20 years later, when reading uh, my book, The Ween Witch, which covers the story of the Pitamine Witches and the murder that took place where I'm standing now on the beach of Janet Cornfoot. Janet Cornfoot was horribly murdered here. The entire village of Pitamine turned out to see her killed, squashed under a door but tortured for four hours beforehand on this very sand. It was only when she read the book and the location of where this murder took place that she put two and two together. And she said to me, I think, I've actually seen your Janet Confit. 